first a unique opportunity to see a piece of history. The Violins of Hope exhibit includes over 50 restored violins that were played by Jewish musicians during the Holocaust. It opened today at the University of Tennessee Downtown Gallery on Gay Street, and it's there through the end of the month. And Emily DeVoe gives us a glimpse at the instruments whose stories are even more remarkable than their sound. The Visiting Violins of Hope exhibit opens to the public today. And while most of the Jewish musicians who originally played these instruments were silenced by the hardships of the Holocaust, a man is bringing them a new voice through this exhibit. Afshi Weinstein and his father helped restore these beautiful instruments and have brought them here today. Why did you guys embark on this, what I'm sure, painful journey? This is a very painful journey because our family is very much involved with Second World War. Mm -hmm. My father's side, both my grandmother and my grandfather lost more than 20 brothers and sisters, including their families. Uh, only one stayed alive. Mm -hmm. And bringing those instruments and bringing them back to life and letting them play again and hiss and give sound to those who cannot talk mm -hmm is a very meaningful, meaningful project. It's to tr we try and show that the Holocaust was also about simple human beings. Mm -hmm. Many, many different individuals with many, many different stories. Some of them with a happy end, some of them unfortunately without an happy end. And it's beautiful to see each story you have written out about each violin. Um, is there one that you could maybe tell us about today? Um, the one that I'll talk about today is this violin. It belonged to a person named Fievel Wieninger, mm -hmm. who was born and raised in Romania. And when Romania joined the war, the Nazis, the Nazis, he was sent along with tens of thousands of other Jewish people to a very remote area, which is called Transistria. Mm -hmm. They were sent there, sent there to die because it was uh, known that there is not enough food and supply for so many people to live in there. Mm -hmm. And upon his arrival, he met a judge from his hometown and the judge told him, listen, I remember that you play the violin and I have this very expensive instrument. Mm -hmm. Amati, maybe you can take it. And if you manage to earn something, you can share it maybe with me and my sisters. A few days later, when he went to the judge to give him his share, he mm -hmm. saw that the judge already killed himself with his sisters because they couldn't bear the conditions. Some time later, the Romanian police heard about this treasure violin, mm -hmm. came to Fievel and simply took the violin away. And later on, he was asked again to play for a wedding of some local person. person and he said, listen, I have no violin. Mm -hmm. And he found this violin together with a guy. And he called this violin my friend. And by playing this violin, he managed to gather enough food, firewood, and water. And five and 17 other people managed to survive the war. Wow, so that story is definitely one of the ones of hope. Of course, some very heartbreaking as well. And I think my favorite part about your whole endeavor is that you're giving them a voice and later this month, members of the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra will be playing some of these instruments in a special concert, as well as visiting the schools. Yes, we have a very extensive educational program. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to focus, on, fo uh, sorry, we are trying to focus on the educational program mm -hmm. everywhere we go because we believe that the most important thing is to come and talk to the young people, young kids, and tell them the stories. And hopefully they'll learn from these stories and they'll never make the same mistake that has been happening for so many years. Well, we are so grateful that you've decided to share this with Knoxville, a beautiful and very powerful exhibit, followed by an even more powerful concert later this month. Jeez, just incredible. All right, well, fortunate to have that here in Knoxville, and the Knoxville Symphony Orchestra will be playing with the Violins of Hope at the Tennessee Theater on January 23rd and the 24th. Tickets start at $40.